Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today we will be painting a girl with the glare in her hair. I did draw a sketch earlier onto just regular printing paper and then trace it onto my watercolor paper using a graphite paper. Sketch is available for download, so find the link down in the description box and just download it for yourself and use it. I will be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 23 by 31 centimeters or 9 by 12 and a half inches. It is also a cold press watercolor paper. First, I will mask some parts of my sketch. I will mask the part where the glare is and also I will mask the entire border of my girl. I won't be masking inside. I'm using this masking marker. So if you have a masking fluid, you can definitely mask the entire girl, but that's really not necessary. Later on, you will have to remove that masking tape, masking fluid, and then just mask the circles because first we will be painting the background, then the girl, and the last thing we will be painting are those lights, those glares. So if you don't have a masking fluid or masking marker, you can just use a tape, cut it in the shape of your girl, glue it onto your paper and use that as a masking. I have mixed few colors. I have mixed in the upper part a little bit lighter blue and a darker blue and in the lower part I, have, I mixed a darker blue. This is something like an ultramarine and black to create a darker shade. Then I have privetted the entire paper around the girl and around those lights. And now I'm painting in the sky. First, I started with that lighter color and just going around in the sky, lower part of the sky. I do want to make it lighter and the upper part a little bit darker. And then also the part where the sea is. You can see on a finished painting, the one that is further part that is further away is lighter and uh, the sea that is nearer to us it is darker so I am using more pigment in the lower part and a little bit less pigment in the upper part. Afterwards I am adding some shape of the waves a little bit in distance and also a little bit closer to us all of it using that lighter blue. Right now I've picked up some darker blue and then painted it in the upper part of the sky and also the part where some land is in the distance. So I have painted that into darker blue. Of course, you can see that my paper is completely wet and the colors are bleeding. I didn't leave it to dry completely and then painted in the land because I do want the fuzzy edges. So I have painted it while my paint is still wet. Right now I'm picking up some light rose and also this wow pink from my collection of colors and then just painting in that part just above the land and also used yellow to paint in that part above that pink and right now just adding a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of that pink also into my sea because I do want it to reflect in the sea and I do want out those colors also in my sea. With this smaller brush, again, I'm adding those wave shapes, some smaller and thinner ones. And you can see that I'm just using the tip of my brush. I'm not pressing too hard and I'm not even using a lot of the pigment in my brush. As I said, I do want that lower part of the water to be the darkest. So I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment. Later on, I will be adding even more. So just make sure that that part is dark enough. It should be dark just as least as the girl. So if you notice when it dries that it's too light, just add a little bit more of the pigment because we want the right values there. And also adding a little bit of the color, a little bit of that dark blue into my land, into that distant land. And I will also add in the upper part, you see that I have added it just down the horizon line. And right now just moving it slightly also into my land. And I have mixed blue with just a little bit of the pink. 
and then added it to the land which I you can see that in the finished piece that I've made those parts just a slightly different I left it to dry completely it should be dry completely and if you are satisfied with the darkness of your water just remove the masking tape or masking fluid or masking marker but leave those circles you see that I have left the circle still masked because right now I'm painting in the girl and I really do need those parts to be also masked just to skip them and to preserve that light of the light of the paper white of the paper and for her shirt I'm using again same color as I did use for the water first a lighter wash I have painted the shirt entire way when painting the shirt I'm minding the hair so you can see that those that part where the hair is are the edges are fuzzy and I have not painted a clean edge but a little bit of the fuzzy edge leaving it looking like there is some hair there right now I mixed in a little bit of the darker pigment again same colors dark blue something like ultramarine and black and using a lot more pigment right now to add some shadows and creases onto my shirt you can see where the darkest parts on the shirt are so there is where I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment. When I was satisfied how that looked for the first layer, I'm painting in the skirt. And the skirt is going to be darker, a little bit more black, but still have a little bit of the blue, a little bit of ultramarine in it. Right now I'm picking this coffee brown and a little bit of the black to paint in the hair. And again for the first layer I'm not using a lot of pigment, it's quite light wash. So I'm just adding it on the entire hair, painting one wash. And for the lower part again making those fuzzy edges looking like hair. Going into the blue I've painted earlier but leaving the parts for the hair for the single hair for those streaks of hair to appear there at the lower part and in the upper part um, I did not really paint every single hair but I have painted just one even wash for the entire hair now adding a little bit more of the black or of darker pigment on the side painting those single fuzzy hairs and right now for the hands I'm painting in the hands again using a quite a dark color I have used a mix of just a little bit of the blue black and brown to paint in then added just a slight touch of pink and added it on top I have used some clear water while the paint is still wet to add those streaks of hair to pick up a little bit of the pigment and to create some highlights in the hair Right now with this thin liner brush, this is brush from Lebenson Brushes, I am painting it single hairs. Just adding it here and there because I don't want my hair to be perfect to look like a helmet that's not really natural. I do want some single hairs to peak here and there. And since the shirt is completely dry, I'm adding one more layer. It was too light. So again, using the same colors, dark blue, and black again minding where the shadows are and where the light is but I do want that shirt to be quite dark so I'm using a lot of pigment and then just picking it up into the hair clear water just to remove that one straight edge at the bottom and right now again picking up the paint it is still wet so I'm using just brush with a clean water and removing paint here and there moving it when you go on top of your wet paint with a clear water you will move that pigment pick that pigment up so just want to create some highlights 
and the water around the girl was still too light so I decided to add one more layer when the shirt completely dry you have to make sure that you that your shirt is completely dry so it doesn't bleed into the water that's not something that we want and just going all the way up adding more and more of the pigment I left it to dry completely and now with this hard eraser I'm just removing the rest of my masking marker first I do want to paint in her hair that left side of her head to just peek through that light ball of light and for painting those lights I'm using yellow and just a touch of brown coffee brown to create those edges of the glares all of it I'm painting quite smooth without any harsh edges adding a little bit more of the details to the hair just using the darker brown and painting a couple of single hair streaks and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support I hope you like this one you're gonna give it a try it is a lot easier than it might look and again thank you so much for watching for all your support and if you like this video please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome I would appreciate that a lot and again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!